Hey my pretties, welcome back. So as you can see behind me, we have a collective haul of goodies. <laughs> now, let me tell you guys, I just finished filming a different video, so I'm gonna try to get through this pretty fast because I'm a little tired now. Um, but I wanted to get this done because I've been holding on to a lot of this stuff for a little minute, um, picking up stuff every time I go to the store. It might be one piece in one home goods, two pieces in Marshalls, and you know how that, yeah, you already know. So I want to go ahead and share these items with you right now so I can put this stuff up. I'm trying to see where I want to start at. I guess we shall, because I tried to do it to where I got Frankenstein stuff on the end and then other stuff over here. So let's start over here and say Frankenstein for last. Okay, so right here we have some metal bats. This one came off of the thing, but this is what they look like. And they have the little hook on the back so you can just hang them up. And I thought that was a pretty good deal to get all of those for $20. And where I usually like to hang my bats at, usually I do the paper bats and yeah, the little dots that you put them on the wall. Sometimes they don't stay and they fall. And I like to do them up the wall right here over the archway. So that's probably where these are going to go whenever I do start to decorate. So this is item number one, let me move it. Okay, next up we have this pillow. Now, there's a story behind this pillow. If you remember, I think it was the year before last, I purchased a blanket that says, you want a piece of me. And it had the like sweet potato pie on it or pumpkin pie, whatever you want it to be. And so I still have not used that blanket. It was supposed to be for Thanksgiving. I st I, sometimes I forget I got stuff stored away. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't pulled that blanket out. So when I seen this pillow at the at-home store, I said this would be cute. I might just go ahead and give the pillow and the blanket away as a gift to somebody for like in the family for Thanksgiving or who knows, bundle it and do something with it. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be really cute to go with that blanket. So I got that. Then this bowl, I see a lot of the little bowls like this um, with the Peanuts gang and all that, which my boy ain't on here. Look at Snoopy hiding. He not on here, but it's okay because I'm representing him today. He's on my shirt in case you missed. <laughs> and it says limitless. So he's still here. The gang is here. However, I do like this bowl. And what I was saying was I see a lot of these and they're usually white. I, I hadn't seen the pink one like this. So I got this to have popcorn. That's gonna be the popcorn bowl. Uh, this, I did a shorts. I showed you guys these $20 from um, the at-home store. And I just was like, yeah, th this is super cute. It does light up. You have the light on the inside. So that's gonna be super cute once I light it up. And then they did have a small one right here. The small one was $6. And it kinda goes together. They were in a collection called the Tricky Treats. So got those. Found this little candy corn cup or tumbler at Home Goods. Picked it up for Pooh Bear, $5. The Pink Ghost right there with the lights. So got that ghost. I don't remember where I got it from. I think it was, let's see, TJ Maxx, $10. This little guy right here with his big little head. And be like, you got a big old pumpkin head. He literally does. Uh-oh. Uh, he was $17. And I know you guys cannot pass him up back there. As you see, I'm trying to sit him down. As you see, my, my guy is back there, crisscross applesauce. I got them legs folded over <laughs> and he's sitting up. I like him. When I seen it, I was like, I was on the fence about it. Called my family. Everybody was like, you have to get him. He's black and gold. And so that's how we ended up with him. I haven't named him yet. He doesn't have a name yet, but I did get him from Home Goods. We have the cauldron with the disco balls. This is cute, cute. I seen the other one, the three tiered one. That was a little too much for me, but I like the small one right here. Marshall's $20. And I just recently showed you guys the pillows, the cupcakes and cashmere, the beaded pillows. 
right there this was a bit pricey it was but i told you guys i have a few beaded pillows for halloween uh frankenstein and a few other ones i just had to have this and then there's the pink one on the back very cute i love the green pumpkin at the bottom or both of them or all three i should say and then you have the little ghost very nice very sturdy and well made i like those it was i was i was torn but i'm like okay just i can i justify 20 dollars a pillow for the artwork i mean the craftsmanship on it i i said i want it this little guy right here my daughter found him she likes odd things she has a little porcupine little wood wicker style porcupine thing that she has he has one eye so he's like a um what are those called uh cyclops but she loves him so when she seen him i said he looks funny she was like that's why we need him so i named him and his name is big bank hank <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I named him Big Bang Hank, but this is my daughter's. She loves him. Um, he's nice and thick. Uh, and that's why I called him Big Bang Hank. He's eight dollars. And I thought it was just like something was wrong with just him because it looks like he's supposed to have something like something on top of his head. His eyes is kind of far apart, but he's cute. He's like a funny looking cute. And so I seen another one after we purchased that one and it looked identical. So I guess that's how those are made. I guess. I don't know. It's different. We got those. I did get two of these. I'm only showing you the one. And this glass is just so pretty. Now these scare me a little bit because you have to be very, very, very careful with these. They're really delicate. The glass is thin. You could break the handle. Um, but I love the handle on that with a little ghost. I think those are cute. These right here, oh, did I tell you the price? $7. Um, these right here, I thought would be fun. Um, they're plastic. They're $4 for when, you know, I don't know, if somebody come over, whoever, the kids, whatever, and we're celebrating and we're having a certain little drink or whatever. Um, being fancy even if it's non-alcoholic it could be alcoholic whatever you want i just thought these ghost cups were super cute right here and i only saw one pink one so i snagged that one and look how the handle kind of zigzags right there very cute so i got those i love that they're plastic <laughs> uh wicked witch ray dunn I only got it because it was green. My whole thing is green. I like green stuff. So $6. I did get Ghostface right here. $10. I'm actually going to pick up probably two or three more of these if I find them. Because every one of my kids seen this cup and was like, oh, did you get me one? So everybody wants the Ghostface. This, this style. There's some other ones out there where it's like a round cup like this and his face is on the front. They like that one. So I'll be picking up probably two or three more. The ghost walking the dog. Yes, I picked this up a while back. Uh oh, Frankenstein is going to fall. I think if I move this one, is he's going to fall back there. So I'm going to leave it. But yeah, I picked that up a while back. I know a lot of people were looking for the really big one that stands on the floor, which is extremely cute, but I would not have anywhere to store that thing. So I said I could settle for the one that goes on the table. This guy back here, the big sequin ghost. I love it. I love it. So Christian Siriano, TJ Maxx, $30. There's the Frankenstein picture that you can hang up. That came from the at-home store. I just recently showed you guys this, which he looks a little creepy. But I'm telling you, this looks like it is sturdy, uh, well-made, and it's an ice scoop. So even though it says ice scoop, I was like, ooh, maybe I could use it for ice cream. Because you know how sometimes your ice cream be hard and you be trying to dig in it and it bend your spoon? <laughs> <laughs> I have an ice cream scooper, but I don't know. I just picked that up. I did pick up two of them. Um, yeah, I picked up two. You guys knew that I had found my Frankenstein little guys right here. 
finally i have been on the hunt for these since last year i was hoping to just find one but i was able to find two so i have a set of twins um their baby registry is at tj maxx i'm just playing eight dollars each uh <laughs> because <laughs> i said i had a set of twins anyways the octopus i showed this when i found it at home goods i think it's so cute i love how each tentacle is holding something different it's a very unique cute piece um how much was it it was only 25 and i think it's fun fun kooky and just cute i love the eyes i think that is adorable this one right here is um an insulated food jar is 32 ounces it was 15 dollars. i like the little ghost on it and a lot of times when i'm ripping and running through my day i like to have um cut up pieces of fruit peaches oranges apples whatever and so being that this is stainless steel insulated food jar i'll be putting my fruit in here and keeping it with me so that my fruit can stay kind of cold while i'm out and about and so that was the purpose of me getting this because it's 16 hours cold and 10 hours hot so i'm going to use it for the cold um where did i get it from was that tj maxx i think it yeah it was tj maxx the the frankenstein and bright cup glass cups back there uh these were from marshall's ten dollars i like those back there the aroma diffuser uh he was 15. i found this little bowl this year at ross seven dollars i just found that they're slowly starting to put out their halloween stuff but i did find that i found the oogie boogie uh ten dollars at home goods i'm an old school lover love scooby-doo so when i seen this i'm like yes i have the jar the canister because you guys gifted it to me um i still have my my canister so when i seen this cup i said yes i need it thirteen dollars scooby-doo and then i seen this on another trip on another day heebie jeebies you know how they used to say heebie jeebies on there and so eight dollars for this one love the green so i got my two scooby-doo cups now this one i found i found her and i love her little boots right there in gold and i had someone else that found me this one the frankenstein and it's crazy because after i have been looking for him and i wanted her could never find him and then um she purchased this one and gave it to me i paid her for it so i bought this but she helped me find it it's a young lady and he has his gold boots and then after i got that one i ran into her purchased her and then the next week i seen both of them in the store together <laughs> I was like, man, I tell you, when you're looking for stuff, man, you just got to be patient. Got to be patient because um, eventually if it's meant to be, it'll pop up. So I said all that to say I finally got my two little characters. That came from Sam's Club. That's the candy bowl. This uh, eye pouch, Bath and Body Works, $20. I think it's cute. I like the beaded uh i and i have been on the hunt for the beetlejuice blanket finally found it finally found it and the crazy thing is before i was on the hunt for it um i think i seen it in the store a couple times but i didn't realize that i wanted to do a like a little something for my daughter with it so when i started looking for it i couldn't find it and then i ended up finding it so i did get the beetlejuice blanket for 17 at marshall's uh and then i found this cup to, that i'm gonna put with it and i like that it says beetlejuice uh three times and then there he is that was seven dollars at home goods i have been looking for this little guy too the same amount of time i was looking for the green frankensteins i was looking for him the little cute little vampire boy finally found him this year so happy about that this guy right here i was on the fence kind of wasn't going to purchase him I, I wasn't but i said i might as well i got him and then behind that you have the towering candy corn down there that came from 
at home store. And this lady, the Bride of Frankenstein right here. I just recently showed you guys her when I was at Marshall's and I purchased it because you cannot have Frankenstein without the electricity ball. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And she wasn't too expensive. I think she was 25. Yep, 25. So let me turn her on. Hold on. Okay, so there's an on-off switch. Uh-oh, it might be too bright in here. Hold on. Okay, I came over here where it's not so lit, uh, lit up, and that's what it looks like. So if you touch it, of course, it goes to where your hands is. That is so cool. Pooh Bear likes this. Okay, so she's still on, but as you can see, you really cannot see that in the daytime. It's going now. That is so cool. Very happy about that one. Down here, I did pick up that blanket that I said looks vintage. I love this one. It looks like that on the back. Very, very pretty. It reminds me of like a tapestry. That's the, like the how thick it is. It's not like super soft like one of the little fuzzy blankets. That's what made me really like it. I did get the table runner. I showed this to you guys a while back. The Isaac Mizrahi. And so that's what that looks like. So you get two ghosts and three pumpkins on here. Love, love that. And then I got this oversized decorative throw right here with the black and white checkers and the ghost on it. $25. I like that. And that is what I have picked up over some weeks it's been a while you know what the first piece is that i picked up on this table or on this counter i think let me think the very first piece that i picked up was this guy this is what started it and then after that i started picking up all the rest of this stuff so he is just so adorable look at him over there with his eyes tilted to the side super cute Okay, so that's it you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little um, Halloween haul. Now I have to put all this stuff away. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's the part that I don't like is, you know, having to put all the stuff away until I need to pull it back out. I guess I was calling this a Halloween haul, I guess. I was thinking too, I know some of you guys do the summer ween or whatever where you keep the stuff out for summer and summer ween. I just don't know. I don't think I'm ready to put all this stuff out, even though I could just leave this right here until the end of October. Because <laughs> I don't feel like putting it away now. But I'm going to call the kids down and we're going to get busy. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And if you watched my other one before, I hope you enjoyed that as well. And I will talk to you guys real soon in my next video. Okay, bye.